Good day everyone! I am Maria Fijay Gonzaga, your reporter for today. Now we're going to discuss about the chapter 11. So chapter 11 is all about school policies and their function. But before that, we're going to know the learning outcomes. So learning outcomes, at the end of this chapter, you should be able to explain the importance of school policies and school operation. So let's start. Schools are institution motivated by shared vision. Necessarily, school must have a process for them to realize their vision and mission. So ang school is a shaka institution. So institution means it's all about isamahan. So na motivate niya sa aton nga vision. Yes, it's true nga dapat ang isa ka school may arag niya policy so that ang aton nga student or ang aton nga teachers may gina look up or maging responsible in their doings and amon ng aton nga vision ng aton nga mission. Vision, muna siyang atong nga ginang insight or atong nga pananaw. Well, the mission, muna siyang atong nga goal na kinanglan i-achieve or ang atong nga responsibility. These policies are a reflection of the values of the people who created them. Whatever, policies are formulated must be down to the improved teaching learning of learners, which is the very reason of the existence of schools. In this chapter, we will focus on school policies that govern school and community partnership. Ang amuni nga policy is a reflection on our doings that tag ni siya so that ma-improve pagit ang teaching learning of learners. So what I've said earlier, that this chapter is focused on school policies that govern school and community partnership. So without further ado, let's discuss it. Let's start with the importance of policies. Importance of policies. Schools in partnership with their community have their own picture of what they want to be our vision statement and so must offer services and must do what they are supposed to do, a mission statement, in order to realize what they envision themselves to be. If for this to happen, policies must be in place. Observant of these policies ensures everyone in school to toe the line. So magsiling tang at toe the line na siyang to follow the rules or obey an authority. If conditions are ideal like when all the members of the school community are perfect school heads, teachers, students, parents, non-teaching personnel, and other members of the outside community, there may be no need for a policy. The truth is, conditions in the school community and in this world are far from ideal and person that makes the school community are far from perfect and so need for policies. Yes, true, good no, kung tanan nga members ng school community, like ang aton nga school heads, teachers, students, parents, and other members of the outside community, is maging responsible on our doings and action, there may be no need for a policy. Kay kapatigid po yan, ang policy is gintatag ni siya so that kita is maging responsible, not just like in school, but also in our community. One may wonder as to why the Department of Education has issued very stringent policy and guidelines for PTAs and matters of collecting contribution. Even engaging in any partisan political activity within school, premises is written as one prohibited activity. There must be history to that, perhaps, malversation of funds and other forms of abuse happened in the past. So, the Department of Education is very strict in policies and guidelines for PTAs for that it matters the idea of collecting contributions, even engaging in any partisan political activity. So, partisan political activity is any activity like soliciting votes, pledges, support for, or against a candidate or party. School policy on the grading system is important for everyone concerned to know how grades are computed. Both students and parents know how grades are derived objectively. Percentage weights for each component are clear. Teachers are guided in their assessment practice. The grading policy ensures objective assessment practice. Without the grading policy, grading may become highly subjective. Similarly, if there are no policies on student tardiness and absenteeism, students may just come in late or absent. Policies on student tardiness and absenteeism certainly will curb tardiness and absenteeism to ensure learning. 
So, kung wala ang policies for tardiness and absenteeism, so maanad ang mga sudyante nga magsulod sa klase na late per May or, or maanad na lang sila nga magpagusto na lang absent. So, ang policy is good kaya to help the student to be responsible on their action and their doings and certainly will prevent their tardiness and absenteeism to ensure nga di na sila maanad sa sinangagawi kag maging responsible sila as a student. And also, para makalearn sila sa ilang mistake and use this as their lesson in life. Next is the effective policy formulation and implementation in a school community partnership. There are times when a school formulates a policy to address a local problem. In fact, this is how it should be in a school community partnership. Ideally, a policy must not be formulated by the school head by himself or herself. The school head must lead in the policy formulation process. The word lead implies that an effective policy formulation process must be participatory. This means that it's the best that the rest of the school and committee be involved. Two good heads are better than one. May ara gid nga times nga ang school ga formulate a policy to address a local problems and this is how it should be in a school community partnership. Ang policy must not be formulated lang by the school head by himself or herself. But the school head, muni siya dapat ang malid in the policy formulation process. This means nga mas the best kung ara ang participation sa the rest of the school and ma-involve ang community because two good heads are better than one. Beside participation of schools and community develops a sense of ownership of such formulated policy which ensures a more effective implementation. This is school empowerment in action. Aside from involving the school and community in policy formulation, a school head must ensure wide dissemination and correct and clear understanding of the policy. So, on participation of school head and community, got develop a sense of ownership. So, a sense of ownership differentiated as mentality of people who want to see their company thrive and grow to ensure a more effective implementation. And aside from involving the school and community in policy formulation, dapat ang school head must ensure wide dissemination and correct and clear understanding of the policy. So that's all. Thank you for listening. Bye!